a review on performance of online transaction algorithms in cloud environment. Abstract the cloud computing is an infrastructure technology that provides access to users over internet. The users with their sensitive credentials, gains access to the cloud service on successful verification of authentication credentials. The security issues in cloud computing proves to be a run-back process deteriorating the performance of cloud computing. This paper proposes a model that integrates the traditional authentication method with hashing algorithm and performing a secured encryption using elliptical curve cryptography ECC. This model evades and addresses the security issues in cloud computing. Keywords, authentication, cloud computing, elliptical cloud cryptography, hashing. One introduction. Cloud computing means storing and accessing data over internet instead of computer's hard drive. The cloud contains all the data of the user and it can be accessed via the internet across the globe. The cloud computing is an emanating technology that is being used by common people to the IT professionals. Broad network access, elasticity, resource pooling, measured service are the prominent characteristics of cloud computing. The cloud computing is increasingly used in big data analytics, file storage, disaster recovery, e-commerce websites, and business processing. Digital money transfer is one of the esteemed applications of cloud computing. This is facilitated by the user by providing legitimate authentication details via mobile phone device or computer. This digital exchange is started on the user's device routed via cloud proxy server to the destin at banking server. Thus, safeguarding the confidential information stored on the cloud has become crucial. As a matter of security, a static one-time authentication measures such as pins and then patterns were introduced. But the probability of brute forcing the pin pattern was high. Next, authentication using fingerprints was implemented, but complete data security was unable to achieve. Then, an one-time password OTP, authentication was introduced. Here, when an authenticated user requests for service from the cloud, an OTP of four to six digits will be sent to the registered email or mobile number by the user. When the correct OTP is entered, the requested service will be provided by the cloud otherwise service would be denied by the cloud. Precisely, the OTP is used for the confirmation of identity of the user. This two-factor authentication is seemed to be efficient but, they are easily prone to shoulder surfing attacks and smudge attacks. This project proposes a three-factor authentication which comprises of password, OTP, and weighted pattern product. This project aims in providing a secure and adaptable authentication mechanism based on not only what the user inputs but also on the pattern of the OTP. An important characteristic of behavioral authentication is that the probability of being hacked slash stolen is limited than others device. Two cloud computing services. The three different service models in cloud computing are SOS, POS, IAAs. The first service is software as a software, SOS. Concerns with web-based services. SOS offers complete service application to end customers based on demand. Google, Microsoft, Salesforce offer this SOS in the current scenario. The second service is infrastructure as a software, IAAs, is an instant computing infrastructure facilitates virtualized computing resources via insecure internet. IAAs users contact cloud resources via wide area network, WAN. IAAs is easier. Faster and cost efficient. IAAs offers pay as you go to model which does not involve any capital expense in deploying an infrastructure. Amazon, 3Tera, GoGrid are some commonly used IAAs. The third service is Platform as a Service, POS, which provides more freedom to users in selecting the computing platform which they want to use. The user need to manage the platform and the service providers offers a predefined combination of operating system and application servers. Google App Engine, Force.com, Azure are some of the common examples of POS. FIG, 1, Cloud Service Models. Other classifications of cloud are Public Cloud, any organization may give service available visibly. Private Cloud, service can be handy only inside a private network. 3. Online Transaction Benefits 
Cloud computing service became popular in day-to-day -day life due its following notable pros. Increased speed and convenience. We can pay for things or services online at any time of day or night, from any corner of the world. We need not have to spend time in a line, waiting to pay the bill. Reduced labor costs. The online payments are generally automatic. They have reduced labor costs than hand-operated payment methods, such as check, money order, and cash. Backup and restore data. Once the data is hoarded in a cloud server, it is apparent to get the backup and recovery of that data, which is much very time-consuming process. Automatic software integration. Software integration occurs automatically in online transaction. Therefore, we don't need to take supplementary efforts to adapt and incorporate our applications as per our preferences. Reliability. Reliability is one of the biggest dominants of online transaction. We can always get instantaneous updates regarding the changes. Portability. Employees who are working on remote locations can effortlessly transfer money to any location. All they necessitate is an internet connectivity. Four issues in online transactions. Risk to e-commerce. E-commerce cites to the action of exchanging things through the internet. It refers to the business transactions which are conducted online. E-commerce threat is stirring by using internet for iniquitous means with the objective of stealing, scam and security infringe. There are various types of e-commerce threats. The most widespread security risks are an electronic payments system, e-cash, data exploitation, credit slash debit card frauds, etc. Electronic payment scheme. With the swift advancement of computer, mobile, and network technology, e-commerce has become habitual in human life. E-commerce organizations use electronic payment systems that use paperless monetary transactions. It has a vast threat of scam if the computing devices exercise identity of the person for authorizing a payment such as passwords and security questions. Hazard of tax dodging. The Internal Revenue Service law states that every business should disclose their financial transactions and present paper records so that tax acquiescence can be substantiated. The crisis with electronic systems is that they don't present cleanly into this concept. The IRS does not whether the disclosed records are true which makes it trouble-free to dodge taxation. E-cash E-cash is a paperless cash method which simplifies the transfer of finances incognito. PayPal Google Pay, Paytm are the common examples of eCash system. eCash has four major components issuers, customers, traders, regulators. eCash risks. Backdoors attacks. An attacker to illegally admittances into a system bypassing the regular validation mechanisms is known as backdoor attack. It works in the background and masks itself from the user that makes it tricky to sense and eliminate. Denial of service attacks. A defense attack in which the attacker performs certain action that impedes the legitimate users from pervading the electronic devices is known as denial of service attacks. It makes a system source occupied to its deliberate users by momentarily distracting services of a host linked to the Internet. Direct access attacks. Direct access attack is an attack in which an attacker acquires substantial access to the computer to carry out an illegal activity and installing assorted types of software to cope out security. The software are encumbered with worms and download a huge sum of susceptible data from the target victims. Eavesdropping Eavesdropping is an unlawful way of heeding to confidential communication over the network. It does not obstruct with the ordinary operations of the targeting system. So the sender and the receiver of the messages will not be aware that their conversation is being tracked. Man in middle attack. A malicious attacker infuses him slash herself into a conversation between sender and receiver, mimics both and gains admittance to data that the two parties were trying to forward to each other. The attacker may abduct login credentials or any personal data, scout on the victim, or interrupt communications or corrupt data. Identity thefts. The identity theft refers to unauthorized exploitation of someone's individual data or documents to acquire products or services. Data breaches can unmask our personal data and depart defenseless. Offline methods also add on to the extinction of identity theft. 
targeted attacks. The main aim of target attack is to break into the target's network and strip information from the servers. Majority of the target attacks are habitually state-sponsored, however some have been by confidential groups. FIG, targeted attacks in various countries. 5. Secure online transactions A review. The demands for cloud computing service are very much escalating due to its remarkable merits, followed by the demerits like security concerns still exists. Numerous research are being done to surmount the security issues in cloud computing. The Cloud Security Alliance, CSA, is a society furnishes existing and impending challenges in cloud computing and also produce legitimate solutions for the same. The universally accepted cloud computing standards are proclaimed by this society. Intel and IBM are some of the eminent organizations participating in open debate to offer and uphold cloud security solutions. The Open Web Application Security Project, OWASP, find the security threats in cloud services. The discussion yields a solution of designing a framework with tough security architecture. A survey has been conducted on the possible solutions for the security threats of cloud computing and is listed here. Rajendra Patel ETAL in 2019 implemented a hypervisor-level distributed network security HLDNS, framework 1 which is deployed on each processing server. At each server, it monitors the underlying virtual machine's related network obtrusion. The extension of binary BAT algorithm provides two new fitness functions for deriving feasible features from cloud network traffic. Zaid Syed ETAL in 2018 demonstrated that the user's posture, device size, and configuration have a significant impact on the performance of touch-based authentication systems too. A new public data set of protocol controls was created. He concluded that the authentication accuracy increases with the device size. At the same time, current state-of-the-art attributes cannot authenticate across changes in device size or screen orientation. Malad Tail by Avanui ETAL in 2018 proposed an innovative text steganography technique 3 called AIT Steg. It provides end-to-end -end security during the transmission of text messages via SMS between end users. The embedding capacity, invisibility, robustness, and security were evaluated in this approach. This AIT STEG is able to prevent various security issues like man in the middle attacks, message disclosure, and manipulation by readers. Joseph Gualdoni ETAL in 2017 proposed Secure Online Transaction Algorithm, SOTA, Fora explores to use two factor authentication with the arbitrary codes. It uses mobile devices to log into card accounts through an application to prospect the arbitrarily originated code. This SOTA forms an extra layer of security that would anticipate hackers from probably impairing someone both financially and pensively. Naga Hemant ETAL in 2017 designed a three-stage algorithm 5 to provide an extra layer of security. The first stage includes encryption of text using Playfair cipher of 9x6 matrices. In the second stage, XOR operation is performed between the encrypted text and the encrypted key. By using RSA algorithm continued with the XOR operation between the encrypted text and the encrypted key is done at the final stage. Then the final encrypted text and the new encrypted key is decrypted by the receiver. Jolanda Modica ETAL in 2016 developed a modernistic cloud security estimation technique called Moving Intervals Process, MIP. 6 that can hold many requests in parallel. MIP offers accuracy and high computational efficiency. In this approach, by curbing the time required to rank CSP, cloud service providers, according to the CSC, cloud service customers, requirements, the CSCs are able to accustom their requests and perform assessment vehemently. Sitaram K. Jamagav ETAL in 2016 framed an innovative method which adopts a lightweight trapdoor compression method, 7 which reduces the trapdoor's size and increases the transmission rate. This scheme uses two methods to augment data search by using trapdoor mapping table, TMT, and ranked serial binary search, RSBS, algorithm to accelerate the document revival time hence run over the communication latency and connectivity obstacles. 
Bin Chen Etal in 2016 designed a physical layer security access called Original Symbol Phase Rotated (OSPR) Secure Transmission Scheme 8 to ensure against eavesdroppers armed with indefinite antennas. The basic concept of the proposed OSPR scheme is to inconstantly rotate the phase of original symbols at the base station (BS) before they are transmitted. So that the massive MIMO eavesdropper will be puzzled by the short stop signals, which may not enact the true information symbols. ASMA Salem ETAL in 2016 proposed a framework which examines the keystroke dynamics, and it uses this as a second factor of authentication. This framework 9 proposes an application for collecting timing and non-timing information from keystroke dynamics. This achieves lower error rate of false acceptance. False rejection of an equal error rate. Preeti Dafu Etal in 2016 implemented a security layer between the server end and the cloud user for secure data transmission over Internet 10. A key exchange was implemented to provide a steady security in the cloud and to extenuate the security risks related to the cloud users. The encryption process rises the data size. This can be restrained by employing the compression technique over the encrypted data. R. Pragalatin Etal in 2016 used the Watson-Crick Hoekstein Base Confidential Data Transaction (HCDT) mechanism 11 to upgrade data seclusion. It demonstrated that confidentiality of data to be enhanced by utilizing the DNA-based ultra-compact transactional information storage, where transactional data is transformed to binary storage using DNA sequence. The application of oligonucleotide sequences-based transactional data encoding and decoding proves that HCDT provides analogously insignificant execution time and hence enhances data confidentiality. Kamal Kumar Chauhan Etal in 2015 designed a homomorphic encryption technique 12 in cloud computing to secure data in processing stage itself. It allows the users to operate encrypted data without any decryption. The homomorphic encryption helps to protect the integrity of the user's data. It was concluded that fully homomorphic method took large time to operate on encrypted data. Preeti Chandrasekhar Etal in 2015 proposed a RSA-based secure and effective two-factor remote user authentication scheme, 13, which accomplishes mutual authentication and user invisibility properties. This proposed framework is impregnable against various malignant attacks as its security is based on the one-way hash function, smart card, and RSA algorithm. Performance comparison analogy that the suggested design is economical in terms of communication and computation overhead. Xiao Chunyan Etl in 2014 used ECC-based PKI-14 for certificate procedure. Because ECC vitally rebates the cost of computation, message size, and transmission overhead over RSA-based PKI as 160-bit key size in ECC implements equipotential security with 1024-bit key in RSA. A secured cloud storage framework (SCSF) has been devised in which the users can securely store and get data from cloud and can share data with multiple users through the UNIS shared internet in a procure way. Hong Gang Wang Etal in 2014 designed secure sharing and watermarking schemes 15 to foster users' data in the media cloud. The secure sharing scheme acquiesces users to upload multiple data pieces to different clouds, making it inaccessible to trace the whole information from any one cloud. The watermarking algorithm can be used for verifications amid personal mobile users and media cloud. Through a joint design of watermarking and Reed Solomon codes, the multimedia transmission errors are refrained. Sugata Sen Etal in 2014 proposed a method of authentication which captures the behavior 16 in which the pass code is entered. This behavior is extracted in terms of the pressure applied on the screen by the user as well as the duration the screen is pressed. This mechanism achieves an accuracy of 84.2%. Genel Kong Etal. In 2014, designed a two-factor face authentication scheme employing matrix transformations and user password 17. It was designed with a secure cancellation feature, in which the templates made up of permutation and feature vectors can be deliberately changed. The security enhancement methods proposed here provide security to various attacks. 
Khaled M. Khan ETAL in 2014 designed a model for secure transmission of matrix multiplication over cloud networking by employing randomization, column row shuffling and alteration of matrix sizes 17. The main aim of this model is to provide cloud users with more controls of guarding condotentiality of their data without accepting any supplementary overhead computation. By using this model, the cloud users clasp the gross secret values, without sharing with or hanging on other bodies for secret key generation, sharing, and accumulation. Faraz Fatemai Mogadam ETAL in 2013 proposed an appropriate algorithm to figure out data certainty and user authentication issues. In the framework, an encryption and key exchanging model has been interpreted based on modified Diffie-Hellman and RSA small E18 to split an encrypted key amid the expected recipients for transparent and risk-less sharing. This client-based control system is intact, secure, and righteous cloud computing accesses. Sank Artis Roy ETAL in 2013 proposed a Synopsis Diffusion Approach 19 security against attacks in which negotiated nodes add false sub-aggregate values. A modernistic lightweight vary. Cation algorithm figures if the computed aggregate, predicate count or sum, encompasses any false contribution. Regardless of the network size, the per node communication overhead in this algorithm is O, 1. McKay ETAL in 2012 presented a concept for an innovative integrated platform 20 to reinforce the integrity and security of cloud services. This is applied in the context of critical infrastructures to identify the core requirements, components, and features. The author has demonstrated how cloud computing and end-to-end -end networking can reasonably be made secure enough to support critical infrastructure providers. Ching Feng Chen ETAL in 2011 proposed a formal framework 21 to deal with inconsistency in secure messages by weighting majority. The freshness and dynamics properties of secure messages are considered and a reliable function was developed to measure the belief in secure messages. Huawei Li ETAL in 2010 designed a compiler 22 that transforms any basic group key exchange protocol into a password authenticated group key exchange protocol. This protocol is secure in random oracle and ideal cipher models if the concealing group key exchange protocol is immune network. 6. Cloud Security Solutions A Discussion The above survey yields a result that the security in the cloud computing is highly vulnerable. It is clearly evident that password attack are just base attacks and it can be overcome by using asymmetric encryption techniques 5. The above survey yields that various algorithms have been implemented to overcome denial of service attack 10, eavesdropping attack 8, impersonation attack 5 and man in middle attack 3. The above comparison table infers that there are no stronger algorithms to withstand side channel attacks and brute force attacks. It is also seen that recent solutions were directed towards only man in middle attack, impersonation attack. Hence we need to develop stronger algorithms to withstand brute force attacks. 7. Conclusion Cloud computing allows us to compose, configure, and customize online, it is also flat to diversified types of attacks. This paper surveys on discrete types of attacks that are possible to befall midst an online transaction. The unification of symmetric and asymmetric algorithm provides detention towards various attacks. Thus, by using algorithms like elliptical curve cryptography, hashing SHA-256, SHA-512 we can provide elevated security for online transactions.